Hey everyone, James here from Synergetic, here again with another app for Make.com. This time it is Mindy, an AI OCR data extraction tool. And I'm going to show you today how to connect it with Make.com so that you can start bulk automating all the different documents and the data inside that you need to extract. So we've built this integration uh, that'll allow you to plug and play inside your automations. And it comes with these actions here. This is a growing list, so you might see um, more actions in future. Otherwise, if you have any special requests, don't hesitate to reach out to us through our website or in the comments of this video. Otherwise, um, to install the app, you'll need to purchase it. You can find a link for the app in this video's description. And when you purchase it, you're gonna get two things. You're gonna get a unique license key from us, and you're also going to get a, a link to install the app and this is where that link takes you to. So check out the actions here. When you're ready, click on install, select your organization and then install here. And that's gonna make it available inside of the make.com scenario builder so that you have access to all these um, actions and triggers and searches. So it comes with cool actions at the moment, like uh, the ability to pass invoices, expense receipts, resumes, but really um, you can customize or build your own API inside Mindy to pass your own organization's custom document as well. So this might be things like delivery notes, if you work in like logistics and supply chain, or it could be contracts if you have to uh, pass lots of uh, legal documents, um, but really the, the list is endless. After you've installed it, if you're setting, if you're using one of the modules for the first time, you'll need to set up a connection and you're gonna need your Mindy API key, which I'll show you how to get inside the Mindy interface shortly. And you'll need to insert your license key, which you get in an email from us. Just paste it in here. Otherwise, let's jump into Mindy. Now to get your API key, top right hand corner, go to settings and then API keys on the left. Create a new key, copy it, and then go back in, paste it in here, click save, and that'll establish a new connection. And then you can uh, use any of these modules. Now I'll show you what it looks like, um, some of the data that you get from the module so that you can use them in your automations. I've selected the pass invoice module um, and that takes a document URL. So you'll need to have the document that you need passed on a public URL. Um, you can get this through an email trigger, let's say. Um, let's say a doc this document comes through in an, as an attachment. You can pass that into the Mindy OCR. And then let's say you wanted to take all that information and update a row in a particular Google Sheet, but you could replace Google Sheets with a, an Airtable database. Um, you could replace it with your CRM if that's necessary. Um, and so many other stores that you could have, but I am going to pass it a public invoice. Um, so let's say my invoice is hosted here and my invoice looks something like, let me see if I can show it for you. Something along these lines here. So you've got a bill to ship to, you've got a bunch of line items here in the amounts and fingers crossed um, this Mindy AI OCR um, data parser is going to extract it. So I'll click run, ah. click OK. Ah. I'll just run the individual module for time. OK, cool. Here inside the bundle, you've got metadata kind of information about the API request itself, but we're more interested in what it's found in the document. So we'll click on inference. Inside here, we have prediction. Okay, so with this particular invoice API that comes like out of the box, um, it's got a list of fields it think is relevant to invoice. This will change based on the different APIs you use, like, you know, resume will have its own um, fields and so on and so forth, but hopefully it's detected a billing address 
confidence, 0.99, that's pretty strong confidence. So it's found um, the address here, the date, it's found here. You can go through and you can pass these individual um, data items into your Google Sheet here and map them respectively. Anyway, um, yeah, feel free to check out all the other modules as well. Like I said, probably the most powerful is the Parser Custom Document. And this is where you can go into the uh, Mindy Doc T. This is where you define um, all the fields from your custom document necessary. It's a great tool. Um, data extraction with AI is especially um, powerful um, and it really opens up lots of different doors. So please um, let us know what you're building in the comments. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Otherwise, happy automating. Bye.